Hi guys, what's up? Hey, what's good? Okay, what's up? Hi guys, what's up? It's Jaya. It's your favorite YouTuber. What? Yeah, I don't have an intro yet, so I just be saying whatever when I come on here. And yeah, <laughs> so it's your favorite YouTuber, Jaya. What's up? I'm here in the flesh. You see me? I'm right here. Ooh, 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 ooh. Vogue. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, okay. This. <laughs> Hi guys, today's video is going to be about how to move across the country by yourself at 18 years old because that is exactly what I did and I'm going to tell you guys exactly how I did it. So yeah, just a little background about me. Um, I'm from Atlanta, Georgia and I moved to California. So I, if I keep looking down, I apologize, it's because I'm following my notes because you know that I'm all over the place and this video will be all over the place if I don't have some type of script to stick to. So yeah, that's what this piece of paper is right here. So like I said, um, I'm from Atlanta, Georgia and I moved to California, Los Angeles, California. And um, I moved when I was 18 years old, My um, literally like five days after my 18th birthday. My 18th birthday was on August 14, 2018. And I moved here August 19, 2018. So ever since I was like a child, I always knew that I wanted to move to California. Um, I don't know why, it was just like, well, when I was a child, I really, really wanted to be an actress. And then I ended up going to performing arts school and being a theater major. And I just always, always, always wanted to be an actress. So I was like, when I turned 18, I moved to California. And that was just like my thing. When I turned, I just wanted to move to California really, really bad. But of course, me being 18 years old and being from Georgia and California, literally being across the country, like Georgia is down here, California, all the way up there. Like it's, yeah. This, people were just like the fuck and I was only 18 years old and it wasn't like I had like street smarts and stuff like that like we'll get into that a little bit later but yeah so it, to people just coming out know it just sounded very very like unrealistic to people but yeah we'll get more into that later so first things first of course you're gonna need to save money um I worked at Chuck E. Cheese, but in Georgia. These are all the jobs that I have. I was in Georgia. I worked at Chuck E. Cheese. I worked at McDonald's, and I also worked at Marshalls, which I do not recommend because Marshalls was hell. Okay, I hated it. But um, so I worked at Chuck E. Cheese, but something ended up happening, and I ended up quitting that job in the beginning of the summer. So I worked at McDonald's and Marshalls, and I worked there from May all the way to um. I worked there from May all the way up until I left in August and I ended up saving about $2,000 um, but that's like starting from nothing like in May I had nothing saved up which is so dumb and, Mar and by the time I left in August I had two grand saved up which I know is not a lot but at the time I thought it was a lot so yeah um i worked both of those jobs but it was really mcdonald's that was the main source of my income because marshall's was playing fucking games not only did i hate that job but like literally the most amount of hours that i ever had when i worked that job was 10 hours a week like my check at marshall's was never over a hundred dollars and me being me that was like a no-go <laughs> like a no what the fuck am i supposed to do with this buy groceries like not even i mean i'm grateful but what am i supposed to do with this so yeah so save money how much money oh yeah so i saved up my money i bought my plane ticket i bought my friends here plane ticket it was 125 135 dollars i bought a suitcase from marshall's i used my discount so it was like this 80 dollar juicy couture suitcase that ended up breaking on me and i at one point both of like two of the wheels came off and i was literally dragging around a suitcase that had two wheels missing and it would make noise whenever it scraped against the ground and stuff like that so that was a struggle but i ended up getting a new one which and i still have it it's in my suitcase over there it's white it was like 80 bucks too and so yeah i saved up for my for my plane ticket, the suitcase, and actually moving there. So when I was like packing my suitcase and stuff, I threw away a lot of stuff. Like so clothes that I had in high school that I knew I wasn't gonna wear anymore. Just so I wouldn't have so much stuff on me. I threw it away. I only take the stuff I only took the stuff that I knew I was going to need. And then I know because I was moving there, obviously when I got on my feet, I was um going to buy more stuff. 
so yeah so when I moved to California um one thing I want to talk about is like family and stuff like that and the question is was my family supportive the answer is no my family was not here for it. of course they didn't say it to my face but they were definitely calling and texting my mom my father didn't even want me to move out here because they were just like I'm too young how am I gonna do this I'm gonna go missing I'm gonna um I'm gonna go broke I'm gonna be on the streets I'm gonna be homeless which I actually was I have a vlog about that channel I have a vlog about that on my channel I'll you can find it I only have like 10 videos on my channel so it's not gonna be that hard but it's on my channel um that was just like a couple of days out of the um that was just a couple of days for the one time that I was home well not the one time but that just shows you one of the times because it was actually a couple times where I did not have a place to stay and so my family was like no like how could you let her do this like my mom basically mad at my mom basically like how could you let her move to California? She's only 18. She don't have no street smarts. She sheltered. She this. She that. She did. <laughs> Bitch, I'm still here. But yeah, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. None of my family watches my video anyway, so I don't really care. But um, yeah. And so, but that really got me because I was like, I'm 18. So even if my mom was like, no, you can't go. I mean, like, what am I? I was 18, so it's like, at the very least, if she came to the airport, I'd be like, who is this crazy lady? I don't know her. Please, sorry to this man. Never seen her a day in my life. But yeah. <laughs> so, at first, my family, um, no, no, let me make sure I follow the notes. I'm sorry, but I gotta look at the notes, make sure I, yeah. So, support family. Oh yeah, so I moved out there with two grand, and, um, I moved out there with two grand and the two grand was gone in literally three weeks because I didn't know how to properly because if you've never had two thousand dollars before like in your hands you're not gonna know what to do like with that money so because I've never had that much money before I definitely thought that was a lot more money than it was it was not properly budgeted for I just know that I saved that money to move to California so once I moved to California I was just like, okay, I'm here now. I can spend it. It wasn't like I was spending on dumb shit. Like, I wasn't shopping and stuff like that. The majority of my money went to different Airbnbs and stuff like that, which I'm going to get into in a little bit. But the first well, a point that I wanted to make about the street smarts and the $2,000 being gone in three days is that a lot of people are like, oh, I can't do this because I don't have street smarts. I'm not, I can't do this, that, and the third. And I want to make a point that street smarts is not, oh, I'm going to shank somebody on the side of the street. Street smarts is, can you survive on $20 for the whole week? Can you make a meal out of like, can you go into the grocery store with $10 and come out with a week's worth of groceries? Can you, um... Like, can you look at your Google Maps and figure out how to get somewhere that's 30 minutes away, um, that's 30 minutes away driving, that's about two hours away on the train and not get lost? That's what Street Smarts is. So if you're contemplating going somewhere, like moving out the, moving, um, in, out your state and stuff like that, and you have people telling you like, oh, you're sheltered, because that's people who tell me, like, I'm too sheltered and stuff like that. And I was just like, and at the time I was really believing them, but it wasn't until I moved out here and I went through everything that I went through that I realized that Street Smarts is like, just because I don't know how to make a shank or I don't know how to sell marijuana or I don't know how to get on the pole and shake my ass to make some extra money does not mean I don't have Street Smarts, okay? It's so... It, it just really is like street smarts is more about survival and survival is like can you find your like can you sit in IHOP when you, overnight if you don't have a place to stay and stuff like that and so when I moved out here I thought the job that I was going to get I thought I was going to be a waiter that's what I wanted to be I wanted to be a waitress at like Hooters I wanted to be a waitress at, I think I applied for Dave and Buster's I applied for Hooters but I'm from Atlanta and moving to California there definitely was oh yeah I definitely need to talk about that um if you're from a southern state over here because this is the map right southern over here California over here okay you need to be prepared for the lack of African Americans because my whole life I grew up in an area 
where especially like when I went to high school and stuff like that, where I was surrounded by black people. So when I come to um, California and I probably see about three people that look like me a day, if I'm lucky, then I, it was just a culture shock. So when I moved to, um, not moved, but when I applied for Hooters and I didn't get the job, it's because they not looking for nobody like me. They want the, they want the Hispanic girls, long hair, stuff like that. They wasn't trying to fuck with me, like, on no, nothing. So I applied for a lot of um, waitressing jobs because that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to move out here. I wanted to be a waitress. I was like, if I move to California, I'm going to be a waitress. I'm going to audition for this, 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 this. No. <laughs> so I applied for Buffalo Wild Wings, but I did not get that job either. So about three weeks afterwards, my money started to run out from all the Airbnbs and bookings and stuff like Booking um, Airbnbs and Ubers and food and stuff like that. I was like coming to the realization like when I was on my last $500, I need to get a job like immediately. So way back when I worked at McDonald's in Georgia, I um the hiring process was very quick. Like literally, I called them on um I called them on a Wednesday and I was like, "Are you guys hiring?" And they were like, "Oh yeah, coming for an interview." Didn't even fill out an application. I was like, they was like coming for an interview. I was like, okay, cool. Came for an interview, hired on the spot. Next day was orientation on Thursday. Friday was my graduation. I was literally working Monday. That's how quick the hiring process was. So I knew that McDonald's hired like that. So I applied for the McDonald's that was right next to my school. And I got hired on the spot. I applied for a lot of application. Literally, I walked 10 minutes to go somewhere else. They called me and was like, can you come in for an interview? I think it was like the next day. Came in for an interview the next day, which is like a Thursday, I think. And um, I was like, okay. So I came in for an interview, hired on the spot that following Monday, I think it was, I think it was a Monday, was orientation and I was working Tuesday. But I, in my mind, I was like, I'm just gonna work here until I get my waitressing job, y'all. Yeah. I still work at that McDonald's to this day. I still work at that McDonald's. <laughs> but so that was when I was still, I'm going to different interviews and stuff for Buffalo Wild Wings. I didn't get hired there. And that was when just like the harsh reality of being on your own really started to set in. So I wasn't really looking for other jobs because at the time McDonald's was like, it was McDonald's, but it was taking care of me. You know what I'm saying? So like my checks were, the checks were doing what they needed to do. So... Uh, yeah, so I went like how I said I was gonna move to California and I was gonna be a waitress and I was gonna be auditioning for stuff because that's what I moved out here to be an actress. But my whole but I'm gonna talk about that later. But you can't be an actress and go on auditions every single day if you don't got your shit together. Like, I couldn't go to audition even though I was in LA, like kind of I couldn't go to different auditions and stuff like that if I'm trying to figure out where I'm going to sleep and stuff like that because at the time when I moved to California the first week I stayed in the Airbnb and then there was this apartment the same apartment building that I live in right now that I was going back and forth with because I was trying to get a co-signer and I was calling family members and family members I was like can I can you be my co-signer in my apartment and they were like no which is not which is like I understand because like you don't want your um like because if I'm not able to pay the rent how like that goes on their credit and stuff like that so I understand them saying no and stuff like that but it was still like kind of it still kind of sucked because they didn't like this 18th I, they thought that i was coming back within two weeks like they no they did not think i was gonna last out here so and they was like i'm not gonna co-sign for this apartment and she's gonna be back in a few weeks and this that and the third so none of my family members wanted to co-sign so i couldn't get this apartment this was like in october i moved out here in august this was october just to like just to like to um give you guys a timeline of where we're going and so um, my mom is trying to co-sign on the apartment and for whatever reason she can't she's trying to get my friend to co her friend to co-sign on the apartment from he started acting funny like he didn't want to do it anymore and so this is going on like october november trying to get more and more people one second i dropped my paper and so it was like going on october and november trying to get more and more people to co-sign and they were just were not trying to do it and the more people we asked the more shit that was being talked about me. How could she go? How is she? How is she gonna be in California and she don't even have her apartment fit situation? She don't even have her living situation figured out. This, that, and the third. Da, 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 da. And so that was um that was difficult. Um, 
So while I was looking for places to stay, I was just bouncing around from Airbnb to Airbnb and stuff like that. So that was the majority of where my check would go. And so like literally, I would try to book the Airbnbs for a week, but sometimes they wouldn't be available for a week. And I would try to stick with the same Airbnbs that I know are nice and stuff like that. Because one thing that I hated, the germ, I am such a germaphobe and such a neat freak. And I know you're like, Jaya, how are you going to be a germaphobe and a neat freak? And you're staying in the Airbnb. I don't know. But this is, I don't know. I hated checking into new Airbnbs. Like, because I never knew what I was going to get. And it was just, it was really, really stressful. And that's expensive. Like, sometimes the amount of money that I would spend on Airbnbs would be more than, like, somebody's regular rent. And so... That was definitely difficult and when you're staying in airbnbs and airbnbs and you bouncing around and shit if you're moving out here it's not going to be cute like when i was pulling my suitcase on the bus moving to my next airbnb i did not that was not cute at all and it wasn't like i was going to pay for an uber either because when you're out here it's not about being when you're moving and you're on your own it's not about being cute it's about doing what you need to do and it's saving money by taking the bus is versus taking an uber just because you don't want to take the bus is you can't do stuff like that when you're on your own because one second these goddamn earrings basically um so where I was at was like, if you want to like take, if you like, oh, I'm too posh posh to take a bus. I'm too posh posh to take the train. Like you have to, it's not for you. Cause like as an adult, like you have to like, it's like, I don't know how to explain it. Like how to verbally explain it. But it's like, you gotta let all that shit go. Like you like, oh, I'm gonna finna go. I'm not saying that you can't have nice things, but when you're on like living like that, like you gotta save your money. You gotta save your money and stuff like that. And so, cause you have unexpected expenses. Like there's been times where I had to unexpectedly take an Uber to um, like to my Airbnb because I thought I was getting a ride for somebody. And then they were like, oh no, I can't, for whatever reason, they were like, oh, I can't do it. So I had to take an Uber home. The Uber was 17, not home, but to the Airbnb, the Uber was $17. If I would have decided to just spend that extra $17, if I would have had decided to spend that extra $17 just because I had it, then I would have been on my ass waiting for the train to come at 4 o'clock in the morning. So. Okay, y'all. Okay. I know it was all over the place. I was, um, earrings is coming out and stuff like that. But, <laughs> um, my, I'm looking at the, the phone like this. But no, um, I got my life together now. So we're good. So no more. But yeah, like I was saying, um, what was I saying? Posh, posh. Was that what I was saying? What was I saying? You guys know my memory is terrible. Yeah, unexpected expenses. When you're on your own, you have to budget for unexpected expenses. You have to budget. And, like, that's one thing that just didn't dawn on me. Like, you know, like, oh, we can save money in eat the food at home like you have to buy that food that's at home like there's not like oh i can just go home and eat so i don't spend money you still gotta spend money because somebody still gotta buy it and so uh, you it's just like your whole mindset just really has to change like you have to be okay with like being not everything is not going to be cute like everything is not going to be oh well, i'm just not gonna do it because that's not <laughs> like i hate taking the bus sorry y'all as soon as i say Oh, oh, I got my stuff together. My father decides to call me. And then that was my mother who was texting me. As soon as, for whatever reason, I'm everybody's favorite child right now. No, I'm just kidding. I'm nobody's favorite child. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But what was I saying? Yeah, I hate taking the freaking bus. But when I need to save, but if it's between taking the bus or saving money, I save money all day, every day, because you just never know when something is going to happen and you're going to need that extra money that you spent on an Uber. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, like, it's not cute. It's not for the cute. It's not always going to be glamorous. Sometimes you're going to be down bad on your ass, but it's okay. It's okay. Like, I promise you it's going to be okay. So, uh, when you move out here... Um, as far as apartment goes, so you don't have to be in the Airbnb situation like as long as I was because I moved to California in August. I did not get my apartment until May of the following year. So for about um, August, so in October, I found this lady who was literally 
not even a five minute walk away from the school that I was going to when I was going to school at the time and um I ended up just not even paying her through Airbnb anymore I would just give her the cash and I did that for about I started doing I started in December and I did that from about De Gen December January February I did not go to any other Airbnbs um um in 2019 so from jan from december all the way up until may i stayed with this lady so it was kind of like a room for rent type of situation it was 315 dollars a week and i paid her every two weeks because at mcdonald's i got paid every two weeks and it was 630 dollars that is like that was it was 1260 dollars a month you guys it was 1260 dollars a month my rent now is a thousand ninety five so you see what i'm saying and so when it comes to apartments have good strong credit or have good and or have good pay stubs so when i applied for this apartment um on my own finally going back and forth with trying to get co-signers and stuff like that when i applied for this apartment at the beginning of may or it was the end of april it was like end of april beginning of may i moved in on may 19th i um I was stressed out for a past for two months before that trying to get my credit right and so I can apply for this apartment because I didn't get my first credit card until November. So when they ran my credit, all that stress and I was doing was for nothing because I didn't even have credit. Like when they ran my credit for this apartment, it says zero because there was nothing there because you know, my credit didn't establish until like June of this year and it's October. And so because I'm only, oh, I don't think I mentioned, I'm 19 now. I'm 19 if you did pick up on that but yeah so my credit didn't establish until like June of this year so and that was I did all that stressing for nothing but my pay stubs for whatever reason my boss at McDonald's was putting me on the schedule for like mad days and she was giving me like overtime and stuff like that so my checks were coming in at like 850 at the time that I was applying for the apartment my checks were coming in at like 850 900 every two weeks so I really that is the reason why I got approved for this apartment it was because of my pay stubs and God of course give glory to God because who you know getting approved for an apartment at 18 years old no co-signer no credit nobody but god that's that's just it like give all the glory to him but it was my pay stubs really because so when you apply for your apartment make sure you have strong pay stubs if you can't have good credit and maybe they'll give you a little bit of leniency i also think it's because i have literally applied for this apartment like three other times when i was trying to get it with co-signers and that, it, that stuff will fall through so they already knew me and maybe they just felt bad for me and was just like fuck give it to her and if she don't pay her rent we'll just evict her but yeah so I would tell you to when you move to a different state to do your research but that's fugazi because I did so much research on moving to California and when I got here I know shit I did not know anything about the train system I did not know anything the reason the only th only reason and i mean the only reason how i ended up getting in the area that i'm in thank god he literally had his hand over this whole situation because i did not know this place this whole city existed before i moved to california and i was doing hella research the only reason why i ended up moving to this city is because my school was in this city this is actually a really good city it's a safe area it's the only apartment complex i i found this apartment complex and it's the only apartment complex in the whole city with this rent a thousand ninety five because it's kind of bougie bougie posh posh neighborhood and so all the other rent is like 800 17 not 800 1800 1600 and up for a studio apartment so i have a studio btw uh, so like I said, I would tell you to do your research, but you could do as much research as you want to. I'm sorry, you're just not gonna you you just not gonna figure it out until you get here. Cause like I maybe it should have dawned on me to research the trains, but it's like that's something that you're not gonna get until you get here. I didn't know nothing about the bus system. I didn't know nothing. I like I knew that stuff here was more expensive, but it's just like certain things are more expensive. Like McDonald's, the McDonald's in Georgia. Is definitely a little bit cheaper than the McDonald's here but that also varies on your area too because there's um if you go to like Northern California the McDonald's there are cheaper than the McDonald's in LA but that also has to do with like rent and like where exactly the McDonald's is and stuff like that but yeah I'm sorry you just got to learn when you get here and just thug it out because 
you can do all the research you want to do. I did so much research, and all that research was for nothing. Cause when I came here, I ain't no shit. I was like, yeah. So pick an area. Um, like I said, the only reason why I found this area is because my school was in this area, and it's actually a really, really good area. But pick an area. But pick an area also has to do with research, and like I said, research is not going to do anything for you. So. And I did not know anybody out here. Oh, yeah, I don't think I said that. I did not know anybody out here when I moved out here. I had never been to California before, and I also had no family out here when I moved out here. So I was really just, I was really just out here, you know. And so, but, yeah. So set a budget. That is something I wish I would have done. Created a whole budget of how was I was going to spend that two grand. So it definitely would have lasted longer than what it did because it's no excuse for two thousand dollars to have been gone in three weeks. But like I said, I never had that much money before. I didn't know how to properly budget. It's kind of like when you have like you kind of like. When people go into the NBA and they get all that money and then they go broke a year later because they don't know how to budget because they never had that much money before. So, yeah. And last but not least, the last thing I want to say is that, yes, it will be tough. It's going to be tough. I did the point that I was going to make was don't quit. But that is like the most cliche shit I've ever heard in my entire life. So I'm just going to say don't go home. Don't go home. It's going to be hard. Like, I was sleeping in IHOP. Sometimes I'd have a place to stay. I was sleeping in Denny's. I was sleeping in FedEx. Well, I actually wasn't sleeping because you're not supposed to sleep and I didn't want them to kick me out. I was sitting there overnight and I was dead tired. Um, it's not going to be hard. It's, that's all I got to say, but don't go home. Like, literally what I say, if when you come out on the other side, if you're not going to be dead, you're going to be fine. You may be a little, you may have a little bit of PTSD, like I do. Like, I don't think I could ever stay in the Airbnb ever again in my life. I don't care if it's cheaper. I will stay in a hotel just because I don't like walking around at like 5 or 6 o'clock in the morning if I have somewhere to go because it just reminds me of walking around when I have a place to stay. So, you may have a little bit of PTSD. You may have a little bit of trauma. You may be a little bit sensitive to more things. But if you're not going to be dead, you'll be fine, okay? Don't go home. You'll be fine. Thug it out, okay? I keep saying it over and over and over again, but you'll be fine. But yeah, that's basically how I moved to California on my own when I was 18 years old. Um, If you want me to do um another video that goes into a little bit more depth of just like how to move into your own apartment at a young age and um, when you want me to talk more about like your credit and more pay stubs and how to budget for rent and stuff like that i could definitely do that video for you guys just leave a comment in the cosign just leave a i said cosigner because like how to move in with no cosigner but no um leave a comment in the comment section if that's a video that you all want to see because i have no problem doing it for you guys <laughs> if you made it to this part of the video thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you so much because that means you watched the whole video i know it was a little bit all over the place i hope it wasn't too all over the place because i did write a script so yeah thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you in the next video in the meantime stay strong bye guys